Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali. I'm here at the studio with Steph. And what we wanna to do today is go through a full body dumbbell workout with you guys. It's been a while since I put out a big workout, so I think it's time we get into it. Now, this workout is gonna be designed mostly for beginners, so I'm gonna go with some simple movements. We will upload another video shortly that'll be more advanced and it'll be for you guys who have been following the channel for a while. Let's get started. Wide chest press to get this chest combination started. So you can see that my elbows are staying directly underneath the dumbbell. So it's a nice vertical push. And you can see that I'm stabilizing up in the middle. So make sure you guys are doing that as well. Now my lower back is pinned against the bench so that I'm not putting any pressure on the back and just really focusing on isolating my chest as the primary muscle and my triceps as my secondary muscle. The second exercise is a close grip chest press. I've got the dumbbells pushing together for stability. Now it's dropping all the way down to my chest and my elbows are tucked in by my ribs. Your turn. Shoulder press and lateral raise combination for this exercise to really hit those shoulders. Now, you can see with the first exercise, we're seated in a three-point position, so you've got to make sure you've got ample weight on both of your feet and your butt, and just making sure that you're keeping that back nice and neutral. We're going to press up in vertical fashion, and there's no rotation of the hands at all. For the second exercise, we're going to go into some lateral raises. A good core control, neutral spine, that nice heavy controlled base is really, really important. And we're going to come up 90 degrees at the shoulders, so we want to try and get into a crucifix position with the arms, releasing nice and slowly for the eccentric component. single arm row to start this lats combination. So you can see I've got a steady three points position going. Now my shoulders are remaining nice and flat so you can see there's no movement in the shoulders and making sure that I'm keeping my back in a nice neutral position with ample support throughout the legs. 
Now, you've got to make sure that you keep your elbow tucked in as you pull up vertically. So the dumbbells coming up to your ribs. And you can see all we've done between the first and the second exercise, we've simply switched between left arm and right arm. Again, looking for ample control on the eccentric on the way down. Your turn to try this combination. single arm T row for this exercise. So starting from that three point position, again, making sure that we're keeping the shoulders nice and flat, um, body's pronated, and making sure that you've got nice neutral spine. Now you can see the way I'm pulling up, my elbow is nice and wide. It's basically on par with my shoulders as I pull it up. And just making sure that I'm getting good range of movement without any rotation in the torso. Now again, it's just a matter of switching between lefts and rights as far as your first exercise and your second exercise is concerned and focus on keeping a stable base while you're doing the exercise. Your turn to try it. All right, a fantastic traps and rhomboids combination here, you guys. So you can see I'm starting with neutral grip upright rows. So I'm holding that neutral grip and pulling the dumbbells up by my ribs. So you allow your elbows to work their way back. Make sure that they're tucked in. We don't want those elbows hanging out wide. And then also make sure that you're holding a nice neutral spine. A good base is gonna help you with this one. Now, what we'll do for the second exercise is we're gonna work some shoulder shrugs, but you can see the way I'm doing it. I'm moving up and then I'm circling out, and this is gonna prevent any strain in the traps. So again, very important to do it this way. Let's have you guys try this combination.
Okay, I've got a combination for your triceps now. So you can see we're going single dumbbell skull crusher for this first one. And the idea is to make sure you keep your elbows nice and static. So you can see it's only the lower half of the arm that's creating movement. We're bringing the dumbbell all the way to our forehead and pushing all the way up until your arm's nice and vertical. Now make sure you keep your lower back pinned against your bench to support your back. For the second exercise, we're just gonna go into some body weight tricep dips. So again, my arms are beside me. Now they're not too wide and my elbows are not hanging out either. So the elbows are pushing behind. Your turn to have a go. Seated biceps curl and hammer curl combination for this biceps exercise. Now you can see I'm alternating lefts and rights and my arms are starting neutral down the bottom and then I'm supinating my hands up so that I'm getting that nice twist and that's going to really hit the medial head of your biceps. So very important to do it that way. Make sure your back remains nice and neutral and just keep a steady supported posture throughout your exercise. Now for the second one, we're gonna do essentially the same thing, but we're gonna hold that hammer position or the neutral hands if you like. This is gonna influence the lateral part of the biceps, the outer biceps if you like. So this combination is gonna hit both the inside and the outside of your biceps. Abs crunch and abs tuck combination for the superset. Guys, we wanna hit the upper abs and the lower abs. Now, you can see we've got our feet on the bench, so this is gonna help with pinning your lower back to the bench and just supporting your back while you're doing your exercise. You can see the crunch is a rolling action and not a hinging action, so we're not trying to do any sit-ups, guys. We just wanna roll and get that contraction in the abs, particularly in the upper abs. Now for the second exercise, we're gonna work our abs tucks. So by pulling those knees into your chest and then pushing them out until you've got straight legs, we're gonna really engage those lower abs. Let's try this combination.
Obliques tilt from a seated position for this exercise. So we'll be doing a set on the left and a set on the right. And you can see that I'm keeping the legs nice and stable. So there's virtually no movement in the lower body. The upper body is just a tilt to the side. So you're making a small letter C with your body. That's essentially all the movement. There's no rotation at the shoulders at all. And there's no pulling with the arm. It's not an arms exercise, guys. It's an obliques exercise. Now, make sure we do a set on one side. And then you can see that we're turning around and we're hitting a set on the other side as well. To keep your spine nice and neutral, just keep looking in front of you the entire time. A lower back and glutes focus combination for this exercise, guys, with some hamstring engagement as well. So a nice posterior exercise. Now, you can see that we've gone neutral hands with our stiff leg deadlifts. Push your butt back as far as it'll go and then push forward, making sure that you're engaging your glutes. For the second exercise, we're going to work some weighted glutes bridges. Now, you could do this on the bench like we're doing it, or if you're more comfortable doing it on the floor, then that's okay as well. You can see we're using the weight on our hips to create some additional resistance. And then it's just a matter of squeezing your glutes and getting up as far as you can. So you can see in my case, I'm pushing up until I have a straight line from my shoulder all the way to my knee. suitcase squats for this exercise guys we're really focusing on one leg at a time doing it this way so you can see all the pressure is on the weighted side and we're essentially using the other side for balance now make sure that your feet are at shoulder width and they're nice and parallel so that we can get that quadricep action happening and we want to try and keep our upper body vertical throughout so try not to lean forward if you can the second exercise is simply switching hands and doing your suitcase squats on the other side. So really putting the pressure on the opposite leg this time around. Make sure we've got nice steady action throughout the whole exercise, both on the way down and on the way up. Your turn to try it.
split squats for this next combination guys so we'll do a set on the right side and then we'll do a set on the left as well you can see I've gone with a goblet hold as far as the dumbbell is concerned and this is going to be nice and easy to hold it's going to be nice and stable now make sure that your split squat is lengthy enough and you want to make sure that both sets of toes are pointing forward you want to make sure your back foot is not twisting and then just focus on trying to get that back knee maybe just one inch off the ground and then push all the way up until that back knee is nice and straight there should be no backward and forward swing on this exercise guys so make sure you watch for that as well your turn to try it. weighted glutes bridge pulses at the top now you can see in order to really engage the hamstrings on this one we've got our toes pointing up and all the weights on the heels so this is going to emphasize the hamstrings a little bit more than the glutes now you can also see the dumbbell is sitting on our hips to try and give us a little bit of excess weight so you can make this one as heavy as you like now for the second exercise we're working some dynamic leg curls but you can see we're doing it with both legs together so this is the easier option a much harder option would be to do it with one leg at a time squeeze until your knees are bent and then push out until you're back in that seated position with the soft straight legs side to side squats to get inside and outside of those legs guys now to make this really effective make sure that your feet are parallel and you've got to make sure that they're nice and wide now you can also see i've gone with a goblet hold as far as the dumbbells concerned and just really trying to maintain my posture as far as the upper body is concerned so we want to try not to swing left and right with it to complement this exercise we're going to work some sumo squats so again these are wide squats with your toes pointing 45 degrees outwards we're going to drop down with nice rangy movement and then go all the way up until your knees are soft straight again maintaining your posture throughout
Nice little calves combination for this one guys. We're going to work some ballet calves raises. So that's, you can see, heels together and toes pointing out. Just making sure we're holding the dumbbell goblet style and this is going to keep the weight close to your core and it's going to help you with your balance. Now for the second exercise, we're going to switch it up. We're going to go toes in and heels out and work some pigeon toe calves raises. And this is gonna give us an ample opportunity to manipulate the outside and the inside of the calves throughout one superset. Now try and lift as high as you can and then come down nice and slowly until your heels are on the ground. Well done for getting through the workout with us today guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, if you have any particular workout that you want to see, don't be afraid to comment and let us know. Having done over 1400 workouts on YouTube, I'm starting to run out of ideas to be frank with you guys. So I want your ideas. So tell me what you want to see and we'll try to produce those for you. Now, if you like the workout, um, please remember to subscribe if you haven't already and share it with your friends. We'll see you guys very soon.